I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Are you guys getting mad? I hope you are. Um, this is a picture of Howard Beale, who uh, was the newscaster in uh, the movie Network. You definitely ought to watch it. Uh, it's oh, several decades old at this point. But when the entire world is conspir conspiring to lie to you, mislead you, misdirect you, use you, abuse you, take your money, take your jobs, take your possessions, deflate your assets. Um, I think there's plenty to get mad about. Um, I don't even know where to start this weekend. Um, we might start with uh, this guy here. Okay, as I've been saying over the last few weeks, uh, people um, were using his lie. Okay, the last time that he presented, he said he was uh, he believed interest rates were at neutral. I think he did that to uh, ignite the stock market so he'd have more runway to crash the economy and increase rates. Um, clearly, rates were not at neutral when he said they were at neutral. He said he would be data dependent, but uh, this was a master manipulation of the population. And uh, as many of us thought, when he got to um, the next speech, he came out as hawkish as hell. He said that there will be another rate increase, most likely. It might be an extreme rate increase. And of course, uh, you know, the, the markets reacted accordingly, as I've been predicting. Um, if you uh, have been part of this latest little rally in here, uh, hopefully you sold out when we had a 50% retracement of the, uh, of the previous drop, but we are headed back down. Um, I, don't, I don't think we're going to bounce, but we could have a little bounce, but I think we are going to retrace. All right. And, uh, this is something to be mad about. If you have your money in the market, I'd watch Dow 30,000, but I don't think it's going to stop there. Um, the indicators um, for the economy, and if you're looking forward, I mean, if you want to look backward, you can say how strong everything is, but you'd have to be blind to not see the wheels coming off the bus in our economy. And then what else makes me mad? Well, why don't we go to, oh, by the way, Here's a, uh, another uh, more evidence that when silver prices drop, and now we're in the 18s, okay, remember when I said the dip to 20 was not a dip? And, uh, you know, you, you could certainly be buying here at 19, 19 or the high 18s if you're building your stack. I think you'll have plenty of time. But uh, here we have premiums dropping to their lowest point in quite a while. Um, they say this is a dollar seventy over spot. We are at bullion exchanges, and uh, but uh, I, I their spot price is uh, suspect to me. I don't think the ask on spot is nineteen thirteen, but uh, six seventy six for a kilo. Uh, Italia uh, Ital Preziosi <laughs> should be able to say that, but I can't. All right, uh, in assay, it is three nines and it is six hundred and seventy eight dollars at theoretically under two dollars uh, premium per share. Uh, you'll see sovereign coins coming down as well. Um, so let me get back on track here. Um, what else to be mad about? Uh, not that. How about that? Now, here is the price of silver at $18.91. I happen to believe Kitco is the authoritative price on silver. So uh, when a bullion dealer tells me it's 1950 or something, um, I'm going to flip the page generally and go somewhere else. <clears throat> but let's say that silver is 1891 and appears to be headed lower. All right, so I know a lot of people are hoping we'll, we'll bounce somewhere in the mid-18s. We could also retest 18, which I think could be a short-term floor. But um, I, it seems to me that given the, um, the potential for a serious recession, that silver can go lower. But what makes me mad is this chart. Do you know how many years we can go back to find uh, an $18 spot price? This is Kitco. So yeah, um, we had it in 2020. 
We had it in 2016. We had it in 2010. And uh, the furthest back, we had it in 2008. Silver has been the same price since 2008. That is 25 years that silver has not appreciated one penny. And yes, there are fluctuations, and I think there are times to buy, and I think there are times to sell, and I think there are times when the wheel, wheels will come off the bus fully, and you'll want to use it to survive. 25 years at, uh, I didn't catch that right there, at, at $19 and change. I'm sorry, that's 19 uh, we're, we're, we're below 19. We're at 18. Well, I can't catch it exactly, but, um, 25 years, you know, how much was a hamburger in 2008? Let me think back, uh, like a McDonald's burger. Was it like a dollar 29 or, you know, like a Big Mac, right? Did they have Big Macs in 2008? Um, I don't, I don't know, but just think of your favorite food and think of what it costs. Maybe it was a movie ticket. Maybe it was a concert ticket. Used to go to concerts all day long for 25 bucks. Um, maybe it was a car. Cars back in 2008, weren't, weren't they like $8,000 or $9,000 or that hamburger or, um, uh, you know, something in the grocery store, uh, some uh, frosted flakes, maybe. What are they now? Okay, but silver has not increased for 25 years. You know what has increased? One second, one second. One second. This is J.P. Morgan's EPS. J.P. Morgan in the last quarter made $2.76 over roughly 2 billion shares. That is roughly $10 a year in EPS over 2 billion shares. Um, so 10 times 2. $20 billion is how much, just to prove it to you, J.P. Morgan has made in the last year as they violate the laws of the land, as they spoof silver, and it's been proven, and as they suppress the price of commodities uh, like silver and probably gold as well. That's been going up. What was J.P. Morgan's stock price 10 years ago? Uh, I won't take you back there, but um, I bet it wasn't uh, $114. Oh, heck, let's take a look. Let's go back to uh, the snapshot and let's take a look at what JP Morgan stock was 10 years ago. This is your money. This is where your money went. 10 years ago, 2012, uh, well, we're not quite there. Uh, JP Morgan was trading at uh, $37, okay? That's what should have happened to the price of silver at a minimum. But as they rob our premiums, as they manipulate the market, as they drive the price down over and over and over again, um, their income statement grows and their uh, portfolio grows and their bonuses grow. And the government winks a wild eye and says, good job, boys. We don't want our fiat dollar to appear weak. We want our fiat dollar to appear strong. And it does, based on the comical comparison to other Banana Republic countries that are far worse off than we are. And maybe we're the Banana Republic country because we think that we have the, uh, you know, the reserve currency of the world. Well, you know that is changing. Okay, what else do we want to talk about that makes you mad as hell? Well, billionaires buying silver eagles makes me mad as hell. All right, driving up the premium on a product that a lot of you want. I don't want it. I'm not going to touch it. I haven't sold the ones I have, but as um, as a um, an, an act of resistance uh, to the Borg, I am not going to buy a single silver eagle. But when billionaires buy lots of them, what happens? The premiums increase again. 
When the U.S. Mint sends you a letter and tells you how good things are and how they've improved their website, but they don't have a single silver evil eagle to sell you for the rest of the year, and they don't have a single gold eagle to sell you for the rest of the year, that makes me mad as hell. All right, what are we going to do, guys? What are we going to do? Now, I wish I had some silver to show you. I really do, but I have not bought any silver. Um, the stuff that I've been tracking isn't really going down that fast, and there's nothing wrong with buying silver here. I do think we're headed into a, a longer recession. I would plan for at least 12 to 18 months. I would plan for asset prices to deflate, not inflate, Okay, the inflation is coming, but you got to get the timing right, don't you? Like you don't you don't want to buy. Um, uh, let's not get into it, but you, you don't want to buy too early. I do think silver is going to get cheaper at some time in the future. I don't think we're going to have an explosion um, in price as long as the economy uh, uh, edges closer to recession and possibly much, much deeper recession. I think you're going to have some time. I think silver is going to linger. Um, I would ignore all the reports about the COMEX and the LBMA and you know, oh my God, they're snapping it up so fast and so forth. The reality is when markets are headed down, economies are headed down, silver will head down too. How do we get our revenge after 25 years? I've only been stacking for, you know, nine or so. Um, and, I, and I'm happy that I got silver in the 14s, but I bought a lot in the 18s as well. So um, aside from the stuff that I have bought and sold and rebought and sold, which I highly recommend you do when the timing is right, that's nothing for nine years. That would make silver the stupidest investment of all time. Perhaps it's not an investment. Uh, gold has done much better, just so you know. And, and uh, gold is a somewhat of a different story. But after so long, very few of us are going to turn loose of our stack because we know it can go to 30 in, in, in two months. We know that can happen. We know it could break 30. Well, you know, should the price be 200? We know that could happen right? The question is when, when will they lose control of it? And it's going to take industrial demand, uh, individual retail demand, and just forget about billionaires. Billionaires don't buy silver, guys, okay? They don't buy silver. They buy gold. Um, so there ain't going to be no more billionaires buying silver. I don't I hardly believe the story at all, and it could be they're just, you know, board member friends with uh, Amark or something trying to keep those premiums up on eagles. Of course, that is wild speculation. How do we get our revenge? Well, we do not sell because we know that we have 25 years of pent-up value in silver. We know that mining costs are going to be what they're going to be, and you can't you, you, you can't have silver if you're going to drop below the mining cost. But you and I can pick up silver methodically, based on dips, over the next year at prices 18 and below. All right. And if you're buying in the 18 to $15 range and buying virtually anything other than U.S. Mint products, you are going to make a lot of money. In my opinion, this is not financial advice. And it is, uh, you know, a lot of years waiting for silver to actually make a permanent move, not a temporary move where they smack it back down, which is what they did when it hit 30 you know, changing the um, uh, the margin requirements and everything else. There were lots of dirty tricks that happened when silver was pushing 30. But there will be a point when industrial demand comes back with a vengeance. There, there will be a real distribute uh, a real. Um, increase in silver demand at the industrial level. It's going to push the prices up. You may see industrial um, providers um, buying interests in um, silver mines. Okay, I saw that story last week. I thought it was the most interesting story of the week. 
um, you know, outside of a hundred lies that uh, that uh, that I saw. Um, and who was it? Oh, it was a major corporation buying a Canadian silver mine, and uh, I'm blanking on who that was. You may see more companies doing that in private transactions. I know China's been doing it for some time now. Uh, no, I don't think we should allow any business outside of our borders to buy um, a natural resource like silver or gold, but we have no leadership in this country. What we have are leaders squandering our money, paying favors to um, voters with our taxpayer money as they bankrupt our country beyond $30 trillion to favor votes. That's what our leaders are doing, and they don't even have the courtesy to tell us what it is. It is the, the new green, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. No, it's a trillion dollars off the top. It's the new student loan, protect our kids, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. No, it's a half a trillion dollars off the top. Are you kidding me? Is there a single soul um, in our country that has any economic sense at all? I mean, I thought Trump was mad when he took the debt limit off and let that happen, but he's a real estate developer. He, he thinks debt is good, and he probably always planned to go to bankruptcy with the country, and he probably will if he ever gets back in power. But do you think the Democrats are going to exercise any control over anything? They need to get reelected, and they'll use anything from gifts to voters, to the abortion issue, to any possible thing they can use to get reelected. And when they do, they are not going to pull in the reins. There is only Powell. There is only Powell, this guy, the liar. Now, is he lying for a good purpose? Is there a reason he's lying? That's, this is the guy that is the last stand. He's in the Alamo uh, of the US dollar. And while I think he's a liar and a manipulator, I think that he is the last stand for the solvency of our country. And I think the way that he's going to, um, to bring inflation down is by crashing the economy. And the economy needs to crash. Have you seen the bubble? Do you not know that there are bubbles? I had a conversation with a coworker the other day where he said, well, you just leave your money in the stock market forever and then everything's okay in the end. It's like, did you see what happened after the Great Depression? 20 years? Did you see what can happen an entire decade lost after the excesses? Well, I have to say, I hope the stock market crashes. And of course, I'm not long the stock market. Um, and I hope, you know, when it does, if we see the Dow, you know, back down in much, much lower levels. I won't put a number on it. I hope that every early retiree that took that money and retired at the age of 56 with whatever, you know, government job they had, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I hope they all start looking for work. I hope they all need to come back into the job market. And you know what? I won't hire them because I'm 64 and I am... Uh, I'm doing it the way you're supposed to do it, not off the government teat. Okay, not because you got rich by riding the NASDAQ bubble. I mean, more power to you if you got rich and I didn't. But you know what? It's coming down. It's coming down hard. And it's the good paying jobs that are coming down. All right, you see it every day in the news. It's not the Burger King jobs that are increasing. It's not the second or third job that somebody is taking so they can feed their children. All right, it's the good jobs that are coming down and the demand will come down from the consumers and your housing will come down where I live down 5% in one month. Okay, and it is a stock market and your assets and in that environment, you're going to find some deals on silver and gold and miners. I lost money last week in the market, but it's because I own silver miners, silver and gold miners. Uh, not, not, not so much that you know it would kill me, but um, I'm riding those. I'm riding those because there will be a day when this turns around and maybe it's six months, maybe it's 18 months, maybe it's three years, but there will be a comeuppance. And this chart, this 25, oh, not that, this 25 year chart of silver that hasn't changed in price, 
Something's got to give here. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Sorry I don't have any silver to show you. I could have pulled out some old silver that's lying around and, and done that, but mostly I wanted to tell you that uh, I am sick to death of what's happening in our country, and we need a cleansing, all right? And it's got to come. It's got to come. The balloons only get so big, all right? If you think they just keep getting bigger, then by all means, jump on the stock market rally, and hopefully you ride it back up to 37000 or or 50000 Not that that time won't come, but I think there's going to be some pain before that happens. And I'm going to be buying silver and gold, all right, and waiting. I hope you are too, and I hope you can give me your comments below. I'd love to hear them. Please press the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks, everybody. Louis signing out. Till next week. Bye.